Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. I'm so happy that you decided to click on this video. Happy Tuesday night. Hope y'all are doing great. Um, I'm really excited about this one, you guys. Um, this is a collection haul. My very first haul from this vendor. This is a brand new to me vendor. This is a vendor that I've had my eye on for quite some time. She is on Etsy um, and I've really wanted to order from her for a really, really long time. And I haven't been able to for whatever reason, either I got on and she was closed, she was taking a break or um, you know everything was sold out because I do know that she's quite popular in the wax world. Um, and so, I just got lucky. Um, now, I have had this <laughs> sitting for a while. I mean, I wanna say probably since, oh gosh, maybe late February. Um, yeah, because I know this was delivered to me at my old house <laughs> because when I look at the box, the address on the box is my old address. So yeah, I've had this for a while, but y'all know because of the move, you know, took a break, so very behind on videos. But nonetheless, I'm really excited to share with y'all what I picked up from Salem Soy Co. And um, she is on Etsy, and I'm almost positive that the owner's name is Kristen or Kirsten. Mm, don't quote me, um, but it's something along those lines. She's on Etsy. I will put all of her shop info in the description box down below. Um, so my box that came to me, I don't want to show you too much of the box because of my address, but <laughs> there was a sticker on the front that said, don't forget, wait 14 days for the magic to happen. XO, XO, Mike. Um, you know, magic Mike, which I thought that was hilarious. And there's a sticker of magic Mike dancing. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, basically, that's her telling me that this stuff needs to sit two weeks. And it has been a, that's Curry, knocking into the phone, saying hello. Um, it's been a lot longer than two weeks. So, I know this stuff is <laughs> ready to go. Um, it was packaged really well. Um, there's the tissue on the top with the sticker Salem Soy Co., and everything was just really well packaged. Um, I did not get an invoice or a business card or anything like that, but I did get a sample. So we'll do the sample first and then I'll show you what I picked up. Um, so the sample, it's a nice size sample. Um, all it says on here is mystery melt. And I know some of the other videos I've seen here on YouTube from Salem Soy Co. Um, they talk about how Kristen or Kirsten, if y'all know how you say the owner's name, let me know in the comments because that's going to drive me crazy. Um, I know that she sends these out as her samples, so it's up to you to kind of smell and figure out what you're smelling, but that's such a pretty shape. Oh, that is so good. Um, Okay, so what my nose is picking up from this is two things. I feel like I'm getting some blackberry, like blackberry jam mixed in with some pumpkin pecan waffles. And I'm sure I am totally wrong on that. <laughs> oh, but it's really good. I think I'm right on the blackberry jam part. I don't know if I'm right on the pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't know if I'm really smelling that or that's just my nose wanting to smell that. Oh, but that's, that is really delicious. Um, yeah, it'd be so fun to know if I'm right or wrong, but excited for that one. So thank you so much for that sample. And we will get into my order. Now, one thing that I know about Salem Soy Co., just from watching other videos, is <laughs> her stuff, number one, it's um, 
super cute. I mean, she's got amazing shapes, amazing blends. Her colors are real, just so fun and bright and vibrant. Um, I do know that she has some things on her site, some <laughs> shapes that are maybe um, adult themed, I guess you would say. Um, yeah, just really, really cute. So we're just gonna start right here. I got three, no, four, yeah. I got four of this shape, and I'm not quite sure what she calls this shape. I know um, other vendors in Wax World call these like pinwheels um, or uh, stroop waffles. Um, I'm not really sure. Curry, did you get a wax melt? Come here. I thought maybe he snatched a wax melt on his way out the door um so anyway i love this shape and she had quite a few of these um offered on her site so i got four um this first one is in the scent company christmas party and i love her labels like the pictures are so cute um so you have her company name salem soiko scent name company christmas party and then you have the scent notes and the pour date. So the scent notes are cranberry jelly, eggnog, and Christmas Eve. Um, not really sure what Christmas Eve is, but I know this is gonna be a Christmas scent. Now this was poured 11, 17, 23. Obviously I'm gonna save this for Christmas time. So by the time I dig into this, this is gonna be over a year old so hoping her shelf life is good um but look at this you guys isn't that so pretty i love that almost like a tie-dye effect and then it's this solid color on the back Ugh. i've smelled these but it's been a while oh man is that good oh this, yeah, this is giving me all kinds of Christmas holiday vibes. Like I said, I really don't know what the Christmas Eve is. I'm getting cranberry. I don't know if I'm picking up on any eggnog, but oh yeah. That is so good. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of cinnamon Oh, that is so good. Have y'all ever heard of the store Kirkland's? Kirkland's is kind of like, um, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like a home decor store. And at the holidays, you walk in there and it smells like, it just smells like the holidays. That's what this is giving me. Not craft store, but just like, it's the smell of Christmas. So good, I'm excited for that one. Hi, Curry. All right, the next one um, is Mariah Berry Bread. <laughs> Thought that was so funny. Um, this was poured December of 23, and this is Strawberry and Sweet Bread. Look how pretty. So you have some purples and pinks, love that. And then it's just, um, white and a little bit of blue on the back. Oh, this is good. Mm. Okay, it says strawberry and I am picking up strawberry, but I'm also getting other berries. Um, maybe some raspberry. Sweet bread. Am I getting a bready note? Yeah. Is the bready note like super strong, no. Curry, curry, stop. Um, the bready note might come out more once I warm this, but um, the berry notes in here are really good. So that's gonna be great for summertime. Excited for that. All right, my next one I have, I was really excited for this one. Cotton candy clothespins. 
Okay, and look at the picture. Is that not so cute? It's like cotton candy hanging on the clothesline. So cute. Um, this was poured November of 23, and this is cotton candy and sun-dried linen. Okay, so I've said many times that I feel like I'm learning, you know, as I get more and more into my wax journey, I'm learning what I like, what I don't like, and what um, is going to work for me. And so, you know, just recently, I think I have found, as far as laundry scents go, that I'm not entirely opposed to laundry as I thought I was, because for a while I was like, like, uh-uh, to the laundry. But then I realized, okay, maybe I can do laundry if it's blended in with something sweet or something fruity or something sugary, such as cotton candy. So this one I was really excited about um, because you get like the sugary sweetness of the cotton candy with the laundry or the sun-dried linen. Um, and this is purple on the back and look how pretty that is. Oh yeah. I remember when I first got this order and like I said, it's been a long time, but when I first got this order and I smelled this one right out of the box, this one was one of my favorites. Mm. Yeah, that's how I can do laundry or sun-dried linen. Oh yeah. Mm. Like this is going to be perfect for the laundry room, but honestly, like this would work in any room of the house on like a beautiful spring day or a summer day when it's not so hot and you have the windows open or, you know, the screen door open. That is amazing. All right. And then my last one is what Gwen said. And there is our friend Gwen Stefani. Um, and this is, oh, this was poured December of, well, it says on here December of 24. Obviously, we haven't reached December of 24, so I'm assuming that's a misprint, and I'm assuming it's December of 23. Um, this is banana daiquiri, pina colada, and fizzy pop. Sorry, thought I saw somebody out there. Um, okay. And those three things, like all three of those are huge loves of mine. Banana daiquiri, yes please, pina colada, and fizzy pop. And look at that. Oh, I mean, that right there, that just screams fun, right? And summertime, and then it's just this on the back. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, that just takes me somewhere tropical. A creamy, tropical adult beverage with an umbrella stuck in it. You're lounging out by the pool or lounging out by the beach. Mm. I do get a little bit of banana, but I mainly get like pineapple and pina colada. I don't really get fizzy pop right now that may come out later but oh great one for summertime so those were my four little um pinwheel stroop waffle shapes and next i got okay these i thought were so cute um i mean the scent on this one I knew I was going to love because it's very fruity, very summery, but I think I mainly got this one just for the shape. Um, it's called Perfect Match, and this was poured January of this year, 2024. The scent notes are ginger lime soda and rainbow sherbet. I mean, I love ginger lime soda. I love rainbow sherbet, so I loved the scent, but... I think I mainly got this for the shape. <laughs> it's called Perfect Match, and there are, how many? One, two, three, four, five matchsticks. Like, is that not so cute and so fun? One of my matchsticks is broken, but y'all know I don't care about that. Mm. Yeah, so fruity, so fun, so summery. And this one, this one doesn't list fizzy pop. <clears throat> it lists ginger lime soda, but 
Ginger lime soda, I think, is automatically going to give you some aspects of a fizzy pop. Hurry, stop. Yeah. So what I'm smelling in here as far as like the fizzy is kind of what I was missing from this one. Um, oh, this is so good. Yeah. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Love the little match sticks. All right. Next. I got Strudel's Spice and Everything Nice. I knew just off the scent name alone I was going to love this one. Um, this was poured August 2023. Brown Sugar Strudel and Nutmeg Spice. I mean, hello, that's like Carrie. But can we talk about this shape? Y'all, it is a coffin. And I wish I had some kind of invoice or paper to let you guys know the prices of these things because I it's been so long, I don't remember the prices. I will say that her stuff is, it's not like the most expensive wax I've ever bought, but it is a little bit on the pricey side for me. Um, yeah, I don't remember... If I'm able to go back on her website and she still has um, some of these things listed, I can put the prices in the description box, but she may not have these things listed on her site anymore. Um, so she's not like the most expensive, but she's definitely kind of on the higher end. But honestly, for stuff like this, like the quality and the attention to detail, I wouldn't mind paying a little extra, honestly. Um, okay, so you get the coffin, and then the door, and then look, the little skeleton, and this does come out. So three pieces of wax. I mean, come on, you guys. <laughs> Ugh. Mm. Brown sugar strudel and nutmeg spice. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's spicy. It's definitely spicy. Um... It's not red hot cinnamon, but it's it's very cinnamon forward. Oh yeah, oh yes, please. I love this, I absolutely love that. That is an amazing cinnamon bakery scent. Right up my alley, love, love. Okay, my next one is oh let me close this real quick how many guys um that are watching how many of y'all have ordered from salem soy co let me know in the comments um how her stuff works for you because this being a brand new to me vendor um i'm hoping that it performs well because if it does i will definitely order again i mean this stuff is just too cute all right the next one is called the hand and this was poured January of this year, 24. This is strawberry pound cake and pumpkin pecan waffles. Two classics. And I'm trying to think if I've ever had a blend with just those two things, strawberry pound cake and PPW. I'm pretty sure I have. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? I mean, those are just two amazing things and then so this looks like it's supposed to be maybe like a crystal or some kind of gem. It's so pretty. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Oh, holy cow, this is so good. Mm. I feel like I'm getting both. And I wasn't sure I was going to. I wasn't sure if the PPW was going to overpower the strawberry pound cake or vice versa. Oh, but she did a good job on this one. It is so evenly and perfectly balanced. I mean, honestly, and I'm just, you know, smelling it on cold. I haven't warmed it yet, but honestly, just on cold smell, I'm getting 50-50. Like, I feel like they're so evenly, perfectly balanced. It's... Oh, so good. Okay, next one is Malibu, and Boo is spelled B-O-O. -O. 
Malibu Barbie. This was poured August of 2023. This is Sweet Berries Marshmallow Clouds, I think that says, in Rainbow Rock Candy. And look how cute this is. The pastel colors, little skull and crossbones. I can already smell this. Ooh, wow, okay. I am getting that rainbow rock candy, man. Um, sweet berries, I'm sure they're in there, but that rainbow rock candy is what I smell first and pretty much the only thing I smell with maybe some like creaminess from the marshmallow. But this is just a very fruity, sugary, sweet, fun, happy summertime scent. Mm, love that one. Okay, so we have two more things. Um, now, at the beginning of the video, I had mentioned that Kristen or Kirsten, um, she is known for doing some things on her website that are like um, kind of adult themed or um, along the lines of adult humor. <laughs> and this one that I got, um, I cannot make out the shape. I'm trying to look at this and figure out what it is. Um, and I can't make out what this is supposed to be. So I am not going to show it on camera in the event that it is um, an adult themed piece of wax. Isn't that hilarious? Like I can't make out what this is supposed to be. Um, <laughs> and it may not be anything. It may be something so like simple and I'm making it out to be something X-rated, but I just don't wanna show it on the video just in case. But I will tell you that the name of this scent is called Carter's Mountain. Um, this was poured August of 23. This is pastry dough, blueberry jam, and pumpkin spice buttercream. And yeah, I just don't wanna take any chance that it is an adult piece of wax and I just don't wanna show it and offend anyone, <laughs> but I will smell it. And I will tell you that this is absolutely amazing. Um, the blueberry jam in here, her blueberry is fantastic. Oh yeah, with the pastry dough. And the pastry dough that I'm smelling in here, it's like the uncooked pastry dough, like the raw, like puff pastry, you know? Mm. With the blueberry jam. Pumpkin spice buttercream. I'm really not picking up on any pumpkin spice right now. That may come out later, but her blueberry is fantastic. So again, that is Carter's Mountain. Just not quite sure what the shape is, so I'm not gonna show it just in case. All right, but this last one I can definitely show you. Um, this one, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, this is called Smokey's Solo Debut. And it is a big sucker. <laughs> this thing is so big. Um, okay, this was poured August of 2023. The scent notes are taffy, jelly beans, fruit slices, and kiwi watermelon. Okay, you guys, like just look at the attention to detail. Now, one little bitty piece of him broke off. I have it right here. Look at that. And look how like big it is. I mean, it it's bigger than the palm of my hand. So it is big, it is thick. You can see the layers. Um, looks like four, I say four, there could be five layers. There's like a light blue, a dark blue, a green, a purple. But look at that, look at the attention to detail. Now this little piece, my husband and I think this is like his little a cigar or his little whatever he was smoking there <laughs> um, it broke off but like I just love it it's so well made so well done so colorful so fun look at that with the glitter I mean I can't even begin to tell you how many melts I'm gonna get out of this this is 
awesome. Now, I will say, even though I don't have the invoice with the prices, I'm, I know for a fact that this was the most expensive thing um, that I ordered from her. And if I remember correctly, I want to say this was around like $10, $9.95 or something. Um, but, I mean, for that, I, I think that's it a very reasonable price for, for all that quality and attention to detail that you get. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, again, this is just very sugary, sweet, fun, just kind of one of those scents that just makes you happy. Um... Yeah, okay. <laughs> the scent notes are right on. I mean, it's very fruity. So yes, jelly beans, yes. Fruit slices, yes. Kiwi watermelon. Yeah, I do get some melon in here. Taffy. I mean, I guess the taffy is just giving it that extra bit of like sugary sweetness. Oh, wow. And just on cold sniff, I can tell that that is going to be a powerhouse. Actually, all of hers. Um, there's not one in this bunch just off of cold sniff alone that is light. Like all of these are super, super strong on cold. So yeah, let me know, those of y'all who have ordered from Salem Soiko, um, how did her stuff perform for you? Is there a certain type of warmer maybe that works best with her stuff? Tea light, um, hot plate? Let me know um, because I am really excited to start warming these and these are all well cured <laughs> um, and ready to go. So I'm really, really excited. My very first order, and I, I don't think it'll be my last. I will definitely go back in for more. And that is all I have for y'all on this Tuesday night. So thank you guys so much for clicking on and spending some of your Tuesday with me. Um, before I let you go, I just wanna thank y'all for being a subscriber. If you are not already a subscriber, I would love to invite you to hit the like and the subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would love to connect with you and have you as part of my wax journey. Um, I'm inching up to 300, you guys. Last check, I was at 281, so we're getting there. I can't wait for that next magic number, um, and we will do a very, very fun giveaway. So yeah, invite your friends. I would love to have um, any and everybody join Carrie's collections. The more the merrier. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon for another video.